So analytical teams really struggle to show the value that they drive from the analytics that they do. Often analytical teams don't get a place at the uh, stakeholder table. Analytics will be um, down prioritized when there's cuts in budgets and funding. So one of the key questions is how do we as analysts really prove that the, the use cases that we're doing, the data and the analytics that we're leveraging creates that value. And I think for businesses today, it's about making sure you have a use case that is valid, that is going to transform the organization, that has the sponsorship. So there's kind of three key things that I say to, to businesses. Um, first of all, ha focus on the business impact. So how is the data and analytics that you're going to execute um, actually impact the business? what changes will happen in the business as a result of the data and analytics and work from uh, the business back down to the data. Too many organizations will start with the data and then look to what can I do with this data? Um, can I create segmentation? Can I profile the risk of uh, customers? But in fact, they should look from the business end, what are the key opportunities? What are the key challenges? Because by focusing on the business end, you will ensure that any data and analytics that you're doing has strategic importance to your organization. So once you've got that business use case, the next step is really getting ready to do that analytics. Today, there's a plethora of tools and technologies out there. And your data scientists, your analysts need to be able to access those tools. So to be able to do artificial intelligence, deep learning, machine learning, graph analytics, pathing, journey analysis, they need access to a range of tools. And technology um, is enabling that today. We have cloud. Today you can spin up a data science lab in the cloud within minutes and have your data scientists playing with data. So yes, you need that technology, but you also need those data scientists. And it's difficult finding those skill sets today in the marketplace. They're in hot demand. So look at other ways to access those skill sets. Uh, you know, the likes of Netflix, they're creating competitions through Kaggle and having a whole world of data scientists working on building a recommendation engine. So they're crowdsourcing data science. So look at other ways that you can engage data scientists. And most importantly, don't just look at your industry, look outside your industry. So look at what retail is doing, look at what telecommunications, what the financial services companies are doing, because ultimately those analytical techniques can be transferred across industries. You can take what retail have been doing many years through affinity, market basket analysis, and apply it to your own problems to get insight.